Eat this! Here's dessert! That's what you get for being careless. I'm going! It's my turn! Roar! <sighs> Helix Strike! My turn! Now, eat this! Here's dessert! That's what you get for being careless. Yeah! I've got you! I'm going! If you could, here I go! Thanks, thanks. <laughs> thanks for the help. It's my turn. Keep going. My mind is clear. My blade empty. Now! Ha! Action slash! Shredded lead! Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for I the help. I got this. Got a little something for you. Bullseye! It's down! Get him, Egret! Leave it to me! Ha! <laughs> 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 I'll care for you. <laughs> Thanks. It's my turn. We need to regroup. I'll take over. Great! Impressively done. I swear upon my sword. Evil will not prevail! Alright! Got it! I must continue to train. <laughs> nice! That's how it's done! <laughs> I did it! <laughs> I grew a little! A matter of course. Well, no. Huh. Ha! 
How'd you like that, huh? That was tough, but I think we did it. I didn't expect you to be able to hold your ground so fiercely, children. Now I understand how Ragnar and must have felt after facing your kind. Huh? I know of the ancient dragon, but the other name... It sounds similar to that of the Steel Maiden's Divine Knight. It is a name that has passed from this world into oblivion. But back to the matter at hand. You have all passed the trials set before you. As for what comes next, you had best brace yourselves. The Spectral Moon Mirror, it's... I'll guide us through! Everyone get ready! <sighs> what is this? The fragments of the past preserved in the Black Records. A reality even I have yet to see. Do not avert your eyes. This is the truth. Damn it! Why? How could the boss just leave us like this? He told us to take care of Fee. He must have been prepared for this. The boss dragged Baldur the War God straight down to Gehenna with him. I'm sure he's happy about that. And yet... What a shame. It would seem I failed to make it in time. You. Ain't you that guy from the workshop? Why, yes. Oh, I do hope our S-weapons are serving you well. I have a certain... proposal that you might find of interest. And as it so happens, everything we need to execute it can be found nearby. If all goes well, it may be possible to bring your boss back to life. What was that? <sighs> now you're just talking crazy. Very well. I cannot fault your suspicion. Perhaps the Red Constellation would be interested in having their leader back instead. There is, after all, only room for one in this deal. Congratulations on completing your trial. I trust you understand your situation, Rutger Klossel. Yeah, let me see if I got this straight. I get to pilot Zector, one of the fragments of the Great Power. Which means, somehow or another, I ended up being the Chosen Sap. But not by old Palatinate over there, per se. You set me up, didn't you? Oh, and what makes you say that? Don't play dumb. I know you've been giving weapons to both us and the Red Constellation. Wouldn't be any of my business ordinarily, but when I fought Balder, I realized something strange was going on. We duped it out for three days and three nights straight. Guys gotta wonder how that's even possible. <laughs> and on top of that, this big thing just happened to be sleeping right next to where we died. I can't even remember why we chose that place for our final showdown. But it's obvious to me now. You've been the one pulling the strings behind our backs this whole time. Ha 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 ha! Relinquish it to me. It belongs to me. Your soul. Your entire being. <laughs> you never do tire of this, do you? You are the embodiment of delusion. Repulsive. Without a single shred of dignity, unlike Valimar. Compared to me, the Ashen Knight is nothing more than scrap metal. Accept it! You, with the heart of a lion, deserve better. You alone deserve to pilot me. Drykos? Uh. Damn. The 
Argent One comes. But it matters not. You shall never escape my grasp. No matter where you flee, your weary soul will never find refuge. Dragos, what was that just now? <laughs> It's been an age and a half, Leanne. You haven't changed at all from when I last saw you. No, if anything, you're more beautiful than ever. <laughs> Your flattery won't work on me. I assume you heard what became of me from Rose? Indeed. She told me of your revival, and how you'd left Erebonia in secret. What a heartless woman you are. We promised to grow old together, yet you've left me here to grow old on my own. Even so, my thoughts have always been with you. You and Evelyn's children have grown up splendidly. Your bloodline will surely be blessed with many descendants. I regret that I could not have given you the same. Nevertheless, I am truly happy for you. Leanne. Now please... Tell me, what was that earlier? That horrible darkness hanging over you? How long has it been haunting you? And why? My name is Georg. I never had a surname, but the chief told me to pick one, so I took out the G from Gnome and went with that. The idea of having GG as my initial sounded silly to me. Repetitive. That's really all there is to it. When I left the workshop, my real memories were replaced with fake ones. Not that it was so bad. It was as if I'd become a character in a story. I played my role, going to school, making friends, unaware that I'd been regularly reporting back to the workshop the entire time. They'd used the Faceless's hypnosis techniques on me, having stolen them from Ouroboros. But honestly, it wasn't that bad, considering it was just a dream. Reviving Crow was simply a matter of efficiency. Nothing more. The Chief gave me an earful for it, but... I knew Crow would be a suitable candidate for the rivalries. That's the only reason I did what I did. It's the same reason I didn't kill Angie. And the same reason I gave the Courageous a chance. Now, now, there's a good boy. He has a gentle look to him, just like you. We should be glad he hasn't taken after me. <laughs> Though I suppose if he had my rugged features, He'd have no end of admirers. <laughs> I'm sure. Besides, you resemble your father too, don't you? Though I might start to worry if you turn out half as oblivious as him. Hmm? How do you mean? <laughs> you see? But in a way, that's just what I love about your father. Take care, dear. Best of luck with tomorrow's mission. I'll be off, then. I love you, Kasha. And you as well, Reen. It's been 180 years since his passing, and only 30 since his soul found its way back to this world. A wonderful wife and a healthy child. It seems there's no need for me to be concerned. But I fear the darkness still hangs over him. Perhaps it's time I reconsider that invitation. What? Again? Honestly, you and your research projects. Well, whatever it's about this time, I'm sure you'll make it a success. Like always. Just try and make it back for the weekend, all right? My father would love to spend some time with you. As would Elisa. I'll see what I can do. I love you, Arena. Oh boy. 
What in Adios' name am I doing? Spending my days designing weapons instead of spending time with my wife and daughter? Not that these recent headaches are helping, or these sudden drowsy spells. They couldn't find anything wrong with me at the clinic, though. The Panzer Soldat. With any luck, it'll revolutionize the industry as we know it. But will it be good enough for the professor to approve as my final thesis? Wait. My final thesis? Where did that thought even come from? It's almost as though... Um... Am I trying to leave this place? Yes, you are. Open your eyes, Franz Lumen. I have already claimed the king. All that remains is his steward. Accept your fate. <laughs> Mr. Franz Reinfurt? Pardon my intrusion. I am one of the enforcers of Ouroboros, number 9, the Severing Eclipse. I've come to retrieve the research reports, as per your agreement with Professor Novartis. <sighs> you are Mr. Reinfurt, correct? An affiliate of the Thirteen Factories? Though that is indeed my name, it is not who I truly am. <sighs> Franz Reinfurt was nothing more than a temporary alias. It is nothing compared to my true self. A name passed down for centuries from one servant of the Great One to another. I... Uh, I beg your pardon. I suppose I should cast my alias aside now. You couldn't have arrived at a better time. I regret to inform you that I will not be relinquishing my research. Try and obtain it by force if you like, but be warned, it won't end well for you. Looking back, I've experienced more than my fair share of misfortune. My parents were wealthy landowners in the north, but an avalanche claimed them while I was still young. By some stroke of fate, I was taken in by the Baron of Ymir and sent to Thor's military academy. As the years went by, my career progressed well, granting me many close friends along the way. And then, well into my thirties, I met her, the woman who would become my wife. Oh, I experienced my fair share of teasing, but in spite of that, our union was blessed. It was around that time, however, that I started hearing the voice. Relinquish it to me. It belongs to me. Your soul, your entire being. Yes. Yes. Unable to seek anyone's counsel, I tried to seal it deep within my heart. By the time we'd married and our son was born, the voice had faded into only the faintest of thoughts. But no sooner could I breathe a sigh of relief, had it returned, at the very worst point of my wretched life. Thank the goddess. They're okay. Please, Killian, I beg of you. Save her child. No! Why? Damn you, Arundel! What did Kasha and my son ever do to you? I'm your enemy! I'm the one you want! Hadios, please! Someone answer me! God is a fiend! I don't care! I'll do anything! Take me instead if you must! Just please! 
Spare our son's life! Oh, how long I've waited to hear those words. Waited and waited, Drykles, for two hundred long years. This time you will be my Awakener, not the Ashen Knights. Agree, and I will deliver your son from death. It was you. You're the one who did this. All of it. But I don't care anymore. Take my body. Take my soul. Do what you will. So long as you save my son, it doesn't matter what happens to me. Ebonite, Ishmelga!